What's up, baby? What's up? Well, first and foremost, I just feel like it's your sexuality. It's your preference. Like, like that's just like if you if you wanna if 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 you enjoy eating booty, that's your business. <laughs> Oh, chill out. You know, you know what I'm saying for real. If you enjoy giving head, right. that's your business. If as a woman you want to give another woman head, that's your business. I just don't see why is why do we have to put so much press on it? You know what I'm saying? That's just like, hey, this is what I am. But okay, God bless you. Like that shit ain't gonna help your bill get paid. So as for far as like. Your closest friends. Yeah. Is it like you feel like it's mandatory for them to, for you to tell them your sexuality? That's your circle of friends. If your circle of friends are open to people being who they are, then that's on you if you want to let them know. I think like it's nobody's business. I think the whole idea exactly. for coming out is people want to be protected. People want to be protected. It's like it's like having insurance. Having insurance. If, if 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 something happened, I got a whole I got a whole conglomerate of, of people behind me that's gonna stand behind me. Cause that's the whole idea of pride. What is what is it? Personal what is what pride stand for? Personal rights and defense or some shit? Cause I ain't never know it was an acronym. Pride is an acronym. I didn't know that. Yeah, pride is an acronym. I just found I didn't out like two weeks ago. Pride is an acronym. You going in and out? I know. I thought it was my phone for a second. No, yeah, he, he going in and out. But I ain't no pride with the acronym either. I know me neither. I just kind of thought it was like pride, take pride in what you are, like you know. But yeah, like, me too. Like it went into full details, but that's all I just was saying. I just felt like it's like nobody business, but like nobody should know. Unless you want somebody to move. He left? Yeah, and well it, it cut out. I'm trying to I'm trying to add him back again. So for everybody, you hear me and Jack doing a uh we doing some few a few days at my venue, you hear me? So this school, the school little semester is going down, y'all pull up, y'all gonna be in the in the A from the city, y'all come pull up, we're gonna have it lit. Be on the radio with it ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pull up. I fuck with that real talk, Trish. What eight? In the eight. This shit true. My bad. My, I think my uh sit a little bad. Yeah, it was it was cutting out. It was real bad. All right, now what I'm saying is, um, like at the end of the day, me personally, I just feel like, you know, if you're dealing with somebody, you should let them know. You know what I'm saying? I think if you if you're dealing with somebody, let people know your truth. You know what I'm saying? If, if you got to do that, but hey, man, I just don't feel like, man, bro. <laughs> it's my business what you do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm that's, gonna, I just don't, that's how, I don't. I I feel like you shouldn't have secrets with your partners. Like you know what I'm saying. Exactly. Like if y'all if y'all close, I feel like you should tell them that. Like I get you don't have to announce it to the world. I like, get that, but I think you shouldn't. At the same time, you shouldn't hide nothing like that from your partners either. Right. I get it. But if you if you gay, your partner gay. I don't. I, you, just because you get on me, your partner gay, right? All right. But I'm saying, if your partner is gay, they know. You talking about along the lines of, my bad, along the lines of you hiding it in the closet, bisexual. I mean, then you're supposed to disclose it. But if you gay, you're gay because you're gay. Whoever you're dealing with know that you're gay. You don't have to tell them. They know you're gay. You know what I'm saying? Well, but you know, some people, like, they be they be having, like like, people don't look gay, they don't act gay. But they still do what they do behind closed doors, so it could be that type of situation too. All I all I say is, you know, 
I just be, I be, I be tripping off of how people try to make a big deal out of this shit. Like, yo, if you will, then do you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? Like, do what you do. That's your business. I just don't understand why it has to be why it has to be broadcasted. Like people got to come out and say, "Hey, I'm this." Is it to avoid the backlash of people finding out on their own? Is it to keep you from looking like, "Oh, you've been keeping a secret"? I mean, who don't? Who? who all your business? Are you coming out just telling the world your social security number? No, some shit is better just being private. Correct? Right. You're right. And like I said, I said earlier, I'm like, you don't see nobody coming out. You know what I'm saying? They're not announcing that they're straight. So, you know what I'm saying? That that's the difference. But I just feel like once you come to that conclusion where you know you get you probably just won't get it off your chest and finally tell everybody, like, all right, this this who I am. But why do you have to tell everybody? That's that's your business, I thought, right? Yeah, you're right. They're like more of a come up like, bro, I just had it on. This is who I am. You be like, All right, okay, good to know that that's what you own, but that's your business. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, nah, I get it. That's just like who you smashing. It's supposed to be your business. Like, you don't come out and say, hey, then people will come out and boast. I got a million dollars. I'm a million dollars. And everybody want to be rich. Well, ask everybody to be more truthful and tell you what they really are. Nigga be quiet. Nigga don't want to tell you they ain't really got what they right. Right. Yeah, for real. <laughs> everybody no. wants to put on this facade. I'm going to give you something. I'm going to give you something. My problem I be having is when people feel like, you know, the LGBTQ community, you know, is like this unified force, right? But let me ask y'all something. I'm give y'all a real one. You got to be ready. Ready? Mm -hmm. We're going to use the example of somebody that we just recently talked about. Let's talk about Benzino. And the uh, train, the train he was dealing with—I don't remember the name, whatever. But let's just say this: if a man is bisexual, don't that fall under LGB? Ain't the B for bisexual? Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. So he's under the umbrella, right? Right. He's in that community. Right. Now, if she's a tranny or just a gay man dealing with this, you know, then they're under the umbrella too, right? Right. Yeah. Why do they use well why do they use the whole gay thing? Why do they weaponize it against people? Why do they weaponize it? They say that, you know, hey, you know, you can't say gay, you can't you say anything about them, it's you got a phobia, you you homophobic. Why why is that? Because the minute you wanna out somebody, why do the gay guys or the gay women or the trannies or any of that why do you try to out someone to socially to, to, to socially embarrass them? Because now at that point you weaponize your your, your sexuality. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Is is, is right. that is that right. not wrong? Because let's say Benzino was on the verge of killing himself if people knew that he was bisexual, right? Right. And you go and you know that, so you go and out him to the world. Why are you outing him? Is it to hurt him? Is it, about is, it to the him more? is it to bring him embarrassment? And if that is, then you're weaponizing your sexuality against one of your own. Right. See, it be shit like that I don't, I don't understand. Like, right, that's right, why right. I, I don't get in them people's business. I let them do what they do. Because at the end of the day, we all human. They're human. We're human. We all going to live for a minute. We all going to die. And that's just what it is. So that's why I don't judge nobody for what they do. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I don't understand it. I don't understand it, but I'm not going to knock them for their sexual preference. I just get annoyed sometimes when people feel like they have to make it known. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, why does it have to right. be so known? Mm -hmm. like, that's you. Do you? My boy? Thanks. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Nah, I feel like you're speaking facts, too. That's I mean, because I never heard nobody say that. Right. I never heard nobody ever say that not one time. You know what I'm saying? You know? I ask the question. I say, well, are kids born gay? People say, yeah, they are born gay. But it's a lot of times these kids be done been touched by somebody. Mm -hmm. You don't know. You don't know. And people feel like, right. everybody touched my baby. 
Ain't nobody touch my baby. Well, you don't know that because that's why it be secretly done. People are really fucking treacherous. Now, who got a phone they could use? Google, what's the percentage of people in the LGBTQ community? What's the percentage of people been sexually assaulted or molested? Shit, by 80%. What's the percentage of of LGBT uh, LGBT community who's been sexually assaulted? And and, and whatever Google tells you is just gonna be based on what's been reported. You get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So when it tell you 48, 50 percent, when it tell you that it says it says 82 percent. Okay. Now. Here's a community that I understand they want you to be happy as a human. Whatever your choice is, it's your right. Live to the foot of the stick. And I support that. If that's what you are, be who you are happily, okay? But if 82%, reportedly, 82% of these people have been done wrong, have been treated like, you know, have been molested or been through something this, this traumatic, and if that converts them into going that way, then how is it you want somebody to be, why should you be so proud of that? How is it I'm proud and I'm happy and I'm gay and I'm proud if if uh, if 82%, 82% that's been reported have been sexually molested or assaulted? Right. I have, I have questions and I go off of facts. The science of it, hey man, you love who you love. I don't give no fucks about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't judge people. Mm -hmm. You know, I may not understand it, but then when I sit back, I say, hey, well, love is love. I guess you love who you love. But I just when I talk so, about the shit, I just come with I come with shit that you can go Google through your research because I ain't, I can't be scientific. I can't tell you all oh, a study show that babies. When they get too much exposed to too much plastic, that our drinks and everything is bottled in, it is filled with you know, the food is filled with estrogen, and it makes them add. I can't, I don't know all that shit, but it's it's evidence to support certain things too, and to denounce and debunk certain things as well. So, so you feel like what they see as well. So, like as a child, you know, when they say like your eyes are like winking, they think that that's something that they're seeing. So, like if they're seeing it from let's say their parents or their people in their family you feel like they like have a effect on their decision as kids well? emulate kids, kids emulate what they see exactly right right, right. so that's just so saying. you do do you feel like I, like do you feel like people could be born gay or you think like you know what i'm saying stuff happened along the way to the point where it changes i think i think things happen along the way i think curiosity happens for some people some people may not have a basic concept of man and woman and that's okay i mean that's hey man these people you got people who are gay been gay their whole life and they're happy let them be i don't like again i don't judge nobody but but when i think of it socially influencing the children and it says be happy today right now i'm gonna hit you with one today if everybody decided they wanted to be gay what would that do to the human race? It'd kill it off ASAP. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't kill it off. What happened is we have to start paying to have kids. You have to pay for a surrogate. You have to go do this and do that to have kids. And, then, and everything is everybody close. Did, nobody gonna really, you know what I'm saying? You can't really have no more kids. It, don't, it, don't, it, it won't even happen in a natural way no more until they start doing the whole transplanting of the female uterus into a man. and. And a man being able to carry a child, you already you Google that shit. They saying they done already done it. So, mm-hmm. you know, I don't have all the answers to this shit. All I know is I live and I let live. But while I'm living amongst who are living, I still can have my opinion. And my opinions are some things I don't understand it. If you happy, you happy. And that's it. That's how I look at it. So, look, changing the subject, we got another They can say they got a gay Bible. About. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know. I ain't look, in it today. We we was talking about uh this dude. He basically flew this lady out. Right. She ain't let him. 
she ain't let him uh smash, he took her to the airport and canceled her uh airport ticket. Who you think was wrong in that situation? That's crazy. Baby. Huh? Who you think was wrong in that situation? Who do I think or what? Well, yeah, well what you what you think about the situation? Um, I think you know, sometimes people just have expectations. It's almost like it's a G code, and some people feel like people know the G code. It's like you know damn well right now if um, I fly you out, right? <laughs> you know, guy, That's why I said before we was before we came a part of you. He expects <laughs> that, right? And it's kind of unfair to a woman because. Just because I'm in your presence, you flew me out. I'm away from my home. I'm away from everybody. That don't mean that you have all rights to do whatever you want to do with me or to me. Um, and that's just a fair assessment of how I think life should be. Like, you can't just conclude that, well, you flew out here. You know what it is. You know what it was. Unless you said that to the woman, right? And she comes and is on something different. But even then, you shouldn't act out the way he did and drop your ass off and treat you like that. And then again, I'm going to keep it a buck. People want attention so bad, man. I don't know what's real and what's fake half the time. You feel me? So that shit could have been a skit just to go viral. I think it was a skit. I think it yeah. was a skit. I ain't saying, I ain't saying people ain't doing why it's just like that. Though. It was a skit. What's up, y'all? What's up, Lonnie? So, Lonnie, you heard you heard the uh, topic at hand. What you think about it, dog? If I fly a bitch out, she's sucking dick at minimum. <laughs> at minimum, I can, you gotta you, you gotta touch this bitch. This bitch gotta go in your mouth or something. <laughs> so, hey, hey let, tell me this, yo, Lonnie, you don't think that's that's some type of sexual assault either? Like the makeup? No, that ain't no sexual assault. assault. It's it's a trade off, right? It's like I a trade, dog. How bad you really want this window seat? You gonna suck some dick for this window seat? <laughs> and you know that. So women be trying to manipulate the situation. So they be like, all right, I'm gonna come out there, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't think I really won't have no sex. Why the fuck you won't come out? You won't, you don't want to come out here that bad, then, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Man. great. <laughs> I'm about to say, dog. You know, bitches be getting twisted, dog. So, look, y'all think dude was wrong for uh, canceling her, uh, her, he canceled her way back home, basically. Y'all think he wrong for that? Like, that's, that's, that's too much? We need to put a statue of that nigga in front of Motel 6. <laughs> <laughs> a statue of who? He said put a statue of the dude who canceled her ticket in front of the Motel 6. <laughs> <laughs> I pay our oh, tributes and homage to him. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, Jock, you think he wrong for uh for canceling the seat? I mean, for canceling her ticket back yeah. home? Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> Jock said, that's yeah, that's wrong. Oh, no. Come that's on, wrong. Jock, Man, bro. Come on, to, son. Listen, Come on, son. Man, if you want me to, and if you want me to act out like a immature adolescent. I could be like, hell nah, fuck that shit. That bitch knew what it was. She knew she was coming to fuck. She didn't want to fuck train to my hair. Shit. She'll figure it out. Bitch shouldn't have been flying without no money anyway. That's, that's how I what feel. I said. That's how I been on TV too long. I said that's the immature adolescent version of it. The, the adult version of it is I got a daughter. I got daughters. Okay? I got sisters. I got a mother. I got aunts. I don't want no, I don't want, because I ain't going to play about mine. So if I'm gonna be that way, <clears throat> I gotta be honest. You don't want it done to you, don't do it to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have an issue with a I'm gonna have an issue with a nigga to treat my daughter like that. Right. I'm gonna right. just tell you straight up. Uh -huh. and, and if I got an issue with it, then that means I shouldn't be doing that shit. So that's just what it is. I think people, we just <laughs> we don't give a fuck. We selfish. We just care about us. We don't think about the next person. But Jack, what, what you what you think about preparing our daughters for niggas like that, dude? Like, what you think about that? You got to talk to them about it. You got to let them know. You got to expose them to sucker shit. You got to right. show them what sucker shit look like. What I had to realize, though, is that my mama was just another nigga bitch at one point, so. Man, watch out, Lonnie, dog. 
I'm I mean, saying though, your mama was was at, at one point before she had you. Maybe after she the fucking had your dog. I'm just saying, that your mama was somebody bitch before. Yeah. That's true. So she know what the code well, I mean, is. All right, Mama, see, don't get on that see. airplane if you ain't ready to put out, Ma. <laughs> if you ain't ready to make me a little brother or sister, don't get on the fucking plane. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's so, I'm not even that. Let's, let's look at it like this, bro. Why is she flying out too if she ain't got no money? You know what I'm saying? Like, like it happens. Be a problem. It happens, but bro. If, it happens. I mean, it do. It do. <clears> what I'm saying don't act like, listen, don't act like even with your homies, just your friends. Don't act like it ain't never been a time in your life. You ain't you ain't go on a road trip, nigga. You ain't have a seven dollars on you. You went on a road trip with a dub, nigga. Like, at least I can eat folk for, I can eat twice for two days. I can get five dollar meals. Like she like, don't act like you ain't been, you know, some best one without having money. That's different though, Jack. That's your partner. I ain't fucking my partner. And, and look, oh, that's even worse. You know somebody. You, you know somebody. You smash is supposed to at least make sure you good. That's that's why I said that. If my, if I do that with my huh? For sure. If I'm fucking a bitch, I'm a I'm a feeder. She about to get this fire two for twenty. Two for twenty. That is. That whatever is. you whatever your whatever your preference is, but my thing is like even even. Even if, uh, like, you saying we older now. You, you not bother. You not bother <laughs> sit there and have your pocket <laughs> with you and you ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? Like, we too old for that. So even, even if, even if you know what I'm saying, she come, she feel she still like I said before. You could come all the way out there and dude could just up and go to jail. You know what I'm saying? So. It just like it, it. Then what? You ain't gonna be able to get home, so you should not fly out, and and you don't got no way to. You know what I'm saying? You don't got no no. Insurance. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know, what would have been smarter for her? And this is why. This is how you teach your daughters. You know what I'm saying? Or your little sisters, or your homies. Yeah, he bought her a ticket, so she felt like she had the security of getting that and making it back, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the problem was he bought the ticket. He should have sent her the money. She should have had him send her the money to buy the ticket, so she's in control of that at all times. You know what I'm saying? You just it sometimes it take you to get older and wise. You bump your head a few times, and then you know better. So I would I would tell my daughter, Hey, look, I don't buy no ticket for you. If he's serious, tell him to send the money. Now, if he gonna send the money and you gonna rock out with him, don't you play with that man money. So if you ain't trying to go, if you ain't trying to put yourself in that situation or them type of predicaments, don't go. Don't place yourself in that scenario. Right. And don't play with nobody money. You see what I'm saying? Right. right. That's just the OG and me gonna tell mine, like, hey, like my daughter now, she in her second year of college. My oldest daughter. Got her own place, got her own car, got a job. She ain't chasing no little boys. She ain't finna let no nigga play with her. Not now, day of the week. It ain't happening. Facts. Big old facts. But Big like ones. you said, you gotta talk. Like you, like you said, you gotta discuss that with your kids and make sure that they, you know what I'm saying? You, you ain't about to chase that because you don't need it. So even if a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Even if a nigga do tell you, oh, look, I'm a fly ho, you already own game to know where I can't, I can't go out there. I can't go out there bad just in case. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, let's be for real, man. You know, she grown. You know, like him even filming her lets you know where he head at. Him filming it take place. That right there lets you know he wanna be let he wanna let it be known. He that guy, he bought that life that we own. And it's some guys who gonna see that and they gonna salute him, they gonna applaud him on the G code. And it's some guy gonna look at that and be like, damn, I would've never I wouldn't have did nobody, I wouldn't have played with nobody like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's a it's a it's a it's a fifty fifty. I think it's wrong. I wouldn't help it like that, but you know. Somebody gonna see the light in it, like well, she she shouldn't have played with him, cause you we never know. She could have told him, "Oh, I'm gonna do all this nasty shit to you," and she could have goddamn been like, see him in person, but like, 
The nigga breath stank. The nigga stank. Like, the nigga cross <laughs> stank. The nigga ain't who he ain't who he who she say he is. She might get there and pick a bad vibe, but in person, like, oh, nah, this nigga. Uh, this nah, you never know. They might have been about to have sex, pulled his pants down, and got warts on his dick or some shit that she like, nah, I can't fuck with that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's true. That's true, though. And, and you ain't hearing the whole story. You just hearing she ain't give no ass. Shit. Let me be for real. I done pulled a, I done, I done pulled a bad bitch pad down and been like, hmm. <laughs> oh, ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, no, What's I, ain't up, bro? I, I, ain't, I ain't look at it like that either. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I never I, looked at it like that. Because you ain't hearing the whole story. You just going right. with what you see. Damn, she ain't get a nigga no ass. She flew all the way in to get a nigga no ass. That fucked up. No, it ain't. Because if a woman changed her mind, I'm going to keep it 100. I done had some of the baddest bras in the world, dog, on, on some real shit. And I done been in the midst of them and thought I wanted to fuck. And then been around them and like, it be really lame. I'm, I'm cool. I don't even, I don't even want to smash. I've right. been around some bras, and I feel like, man, this bitch might be trying to rob me. I'm, let me get the fuck up out of here. You know what I'm saying? So it's all kind of reason. That's as a man. You know, we're going to turn it down way less than women. Women will, you know she want it. Facts. You want to a nigga will fuck a bitch he don't even like. I don't but even she, like this bitch. I'm gonna let me go knock her down real quick. Because <laughs> a woman could be dealing with, with personal issues that preventing her from doing something. She want to smash just like you. She got a sex drive. She want to fuck just like you. But right now, shit, she could have just came off her cycle and feel like, you know, I ain't the freshest. She could be got down. She could have been dealing with anything where she had to take an antibiotic, antibiotic, which will cause a woman to have a yeast infection. It could be all type of little shit, personal shit that they just, they want to fuck just like you want to fuck. But at the moment, I ain't, I ain't in a position to. And I know I kind of let us get all the way up to the line because I ain't want to disappoint you, but I can't really, really disappoint you and let you, you know, you just don't know. You know, women be having reasons they can't. Niggas just want to fuck. Let me just put the tip in. Let <laughs> me just put the tip in. I feel I, like... My plug like, ain't good. I'm going to pull out the stupid ass. You know what I mean? Just, just rub my dick through my jeans. <laughs> yeah. All that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like dude, like... Even if at the time do it on, he laying for recording. It. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's lame. Even if you ain't gonna do that bad like that, you still down bad for recording it and making yeah, it. Yeah, I, I don't fuck camera. with that. Yeah. Don't do that. That shit whack. That's like hey, when niggas get helping bombs out and won't record them helping the bomb. Hey Lane, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta fuck with me one time, Lane. Let's do that, dog. Yeah, dog. If you gonna be if you gonna be a good person, if you gonna do if you're going to do some player shit, just, just do it, dog. You ain't got to fucking have no audience for that shit, dog. Real talk. <laughs> but what that say about him, though? He a I bitch at his name. Yeah, that's lame. That's lame. It's kind of it, it weak. It's like, damn, bro. She ain't give you the ass. Oh, you mad now? Okay. You just, oh, look at you. She dodged that's one, really. She dodged one. Facts. Because he was quick to show the world that she didn't fuck. He put her on blast because she ain't fuck. And he gonna drop her ass off. Bitch, you can get out, right? But think about it. Not about about it. No, wanna... He was a bitch ass nigga before she fucked with him like that. Yeah, he exposed his hand. And that was good. That maybe God was just watching over. You know what I'm right. saying? Real spill. Right. Real spill. Y'all seen uh the it was the man. He uh he made the girl pay for her own food. Cause uh what happened? She said she wasn't going home with him. And he was like, yeah, I right, well, give me two checks. You hear me separate. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just shit like that. It's a lot of that behavior going on. When niggas ain't properly guided, it's a lot right. of that. Right. If, if you ask that girl on a date, brother, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Why Why you can't pay for the girl? You ask I, I feel like date. I feel like this. It's a thin line between being a gentleman and just being a flat-out trick-ass nigga. It's a thin-ass line. So anytime a bitch make you feel like, damn, bitch, you pressured me to pay for something, Nigga like, nah, nigga done backed out. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga done lost, left the whole gentleman aspect of it. it was like, bitch, you got, you think, must have got my trick or something. You feel what I'm saying? So, I got that right. in line. Or, right. uh, uh, or it's laws of averages. A nigga know one out of ten gonna go. So, one thing I was taught when it comes to marketing, you always want to get the nose out the way fast. Right. So I, I, rather, I rather a quick, I rather a quick no than a long yes. 
Just get them lows out of the way. Boom, 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 boom. One out of ten going to go. So you got these young niggas who's just like, shit, I'm going to go on the goddamn, get rid of goddamn her because she ain't going to do nothing. I'm going to save my money. I'm going on the next day later. I got something that I know going to smash. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Niggas, just, niggas just don't be having a proper guidance sometimes because you really ain't supposed to do nobody like that, man. Look here, baby. All right, well, shit, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do nothing tonight. It's cool because I ain't in no rush. Because I want you to, I want you to want to give it to me. Right. That when it really good. When she want to get to you. With... That's what I want. I don't want to be like, I don't know. No, nah, I want to be like, come here. Come here. All right. Come on. Let's Let me get show it. Thanks. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Make me feel Thanks. great Thanks. today. Thanks. That, that's real fact. That's very, uh, I don't want you to. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable walking into the situation. You know what I'm saying? That 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 don't that don't even much look right. right. I want her to have a hot girl summer, not a lukewarm autumn. <laughs> <laughs> be, 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 you know, be grown. Cause you know when they they ain't nothing, if they when, even you, if you ain't comfortable, if you not comfortable, you not properly piping. Thanks. You're not properly piping. You're not. <laughs> you All I need is a perk. I'm bringing somebody back. Puppy <laughs> <laughs> perk. I'm about to say, I ain't know. How you gonna, how you gonna swallow a perk, son? What puppet you mean? Perk. I'm in a puppet pipe, nigga. <laughs> puppet perk pipe. Pick, pick a pebble. Pick a pipe. I'll put your pee, bitch. You're <laughs> <laughs> letting crazy. I don't know who you real behind that puppet lady, but you a fool with it. I want, Man, a, bitch, the, I want a bitch to put her hand in my puppet right hole. It just made me talk. <laughs> so look, as a man, y'all ever felt forced um to, to have sex with a female? You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, fucking hey, my baby mama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, no, man. I don't even like you no more, bitch. <laughs> so look, hey, once, once I see that bitch poo, I don't, I don't want to look at her no more. Hey, <laughs> Lenny, I gotta, I gotta bring you on my radio show, Lenny. Yeah, whatever. I'm with whatever, dog. I just, I just followed you. I just tapped in with you. <laughs> yeah, once. See a bitch on the toilet, bitch. You you ugly to me. For real? Man, dog. Fucking right. I don't want to see that bitch for nothing, bitch. I don't want to, I want a bitch to just feel like she not human like me. I want a bitch. I want you to be a puppy too. No, nah, I want to see the bitch do all that shit. I want her to be so comfortable. She ain't scared to do nothing. Ain't scared to tell me nothing. I want right. to be so loyal. Like, well, I, I guess I could say I, I got that. I, my wife, she she with all the smoke. Aww. Stupid ass little boy. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, babe, 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 you're so beautiful when you shouldn't, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you sitting on that toilet, babe. God damn. God. <laughs> the way that ass. Wipe the ass, babe. Wipe the ass, babe. Man, I'm a little bit stupid, though. I swear to God. Dog. Lying crazy, son. Don't lie. What up, what? dog? <laughs> what up? What kind, of, what kind of girls you be at, Len? <laughs> I like bitches with good credit. <laughs> preferably that older white for sure. He said preferably older white women. Yeah, I need a bitch with some assets. Some assets. I feel it. Like, like so. Line it, you want a you want a female that's gonna trick to you, dog? Fucking right, dog. I, I can't fuck with no broke bitch. Like you gotta bring something to the table. See, I already gotta be funny and charming. I already know I can make a bitch laugh. You know what I'm saying? I could I you know, I could laugh the panties off of none. I I, don't, I already know I could do that. A bitch ain't really gotta do nothing. She ain't gotta bring nothing to the table. Bring All she to gotta do is bring pussy. Table. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here being all magnificent. I'm being myself. And she just got to be her. Fuck that. Nigga said Gail Benson, man. So, Lani, how you going to... Look, this is my thing. How you going to expect somebody to have... Like, you you want her with, with good credit. 
You hear me? She gotta have assets. What about what you gonna bring to the table, you dig? I already told you, I'm cute, I'm charming, and I'm slinging dick. So what's up? <laughs> That's it, brother? That's what I'm saying, dog. You think about these regular bitches, dog. All it, you know what I'm saying? Bitches, they get a nursing uh, degree, and then they think, you know, they God gift the men. Fuck that, dog. <laughs> hey, God gift the men. Fuck all that. Talking I'm about generational wealth, bitch. I, I need to make sure these little puppet bastards going to be good, you know, when I'm gone. <laughs> This bitch lining, dog. This bitch lining, dog. Fuck that, dog. See, we be looking at, oh, damn, the bitch pretty? All the bitch got to do is be pretty? Fuck that, dog. Give me an ugly that. bitch with a, with a good credit score. Fuck that. Nah, I feel yeah. that, too. I feel that. Ride that little mongoloid to the top. Yeah, see here the problem. See here the problem, man. I be hating when these girls think they gonna get by on their looks alone. Exactly. See the worst right. part about that is usually after you bust a nut, they don't look the same at that moment. They really do. You like, oh. Then you look, you like, damn, she's still here. She's still here with this fucking bus <laughs> pad. <laughs> that's the truth. We were saying we were saying that earlier. Like that's the reason why. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't do like like how uh who it was? Mystical. Mystical caught another charge, another reap charge. You hear I me? Mean? Mm -hmm. And we looking at it and we looking at it like, well damn, bro, all you gotta do is beat your meat. Once you beat your meat, you catch a nut. You ain't gonna even much won't hit her no more. You, you ain't gonna look at her the same or none of that. You might well just, you know what I'm saying, go do that for all that. Why mystical can't keep his fucking hands to itself? Why you keep the fuck wrong with him? I don't know, bro. That's the fucking plastic fucking up never, his brain. We we never know though. Them plastic too said, tight. Jack. We never know. We don't know who he done came across. That's the Illuminati fucking with him. I'm saying, you just never know. You know what I'm saying? You know, but at the same time, no job. If you, like like I said earlier, if you got three different theft charges on you, you stole something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you stole something, bitch. You stole something. But the person they saying did it to him, we don't know how long he been dealing with them. This could be somebody he just got with, and they like, oh yeah, he done didn't didn't get didn't buy the bitch a ticket home. Told the bitch he was gonna bust her down, and then bust her down. Oh, you gonna play me? You ain't pay me? Boom, she just had a nigga took it. It's it's alleged. We don't know. Yeah, you right. Know, bro. It could be that. Let me tell you it something, man. I done seen. Listen, yeah, I done, been, history, I done been around here. I done had to talk some homegirls that that ain't even my homegirls no more. After I had that conversation with them, like. You gonna do what? Oh yeah, nigga think he popping. I got down. Woo, woo, woo. I do this. You gonna do that to a nigga? Yeah, if he keep playing with my money. And then you talk, you talk the whole girl down, like, nah, I don't do that. That's that's that ain't cool. And then after that, you know, you done talk down, you realize, bitch, I can't fuck with you no more. Calling you my own girl, you doing this old shake ass shit. You know what I'm saying? It's the devil. Yeah, that's too up for real. Devil well proud of. No, that's a different type of that's a different type of fuck out. But I, I, I get what he's saying, but it's still it's still like knowing dude history and make it hard. You know what I'm saying? You breaking up, Jock. Is it back? But see, no, well. I stopped the way. Is it good? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Yeah. Like like you said, like we don't. Because I'm don't telling you, though. We don't know until, you know what I'm saying, he proven. But I feel like knowing dude history, it makes it hard for you to kind of give him leeway, too. Well, you go back and look at the history of his convictions, too. The first rape got him six years, right? Mm -hmm. The second, uh, uh, the the first one. You sound out. I'm shit out, G. You know it's a bad rap. You got you get getting charged. <clears throat> what you were saying? We we you had your sound had went out. 
Oh, no. The cleaning lady got down. Went to hit my blind. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> you hear that shit? You hear it? Um, but, yeah, I'm just saying, man, like, somewhere in the somebody gonna start to believe you are doing this because you keep getting charged with this shit, man. That's how I feel. Like, it's kind of hard to believe that he innocent and his history say different. Oh, no. Man, he did that shit. Man, he did that shit. <laughs> he did that shit. I don't know. I mean, like, you know, you, you, you innocent until proven guilty, but you've been proven guilty before. So Many it's kind of hard to, yeah, it's kind of hard to say that you, you, you innocent this time if you got history of the same behavior. That's how them people in court going to tell them, man. They're going to tell them the same shit. Now, bruh, <laughs> you know you done been out of the road once before. Know the judge going to get on his ass. Yeah, Ooh, you know that. it already. And that's that's his second. I think that's his second charge in Ascension Paris. Like the last time when he violated his parole or probation, one of them, he uh he caught a charge in Ascension Paris. They got it. They got it. Putting that R Kelly on that boy. It's over. With. Then, th so you think you think he should by this being his his third one? You know what I'm saying? Do you think we should look at him the same way that people look at R Kelly too? Yeah, but we still gonna bump danger and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna fuck with that. So you think you think it's okay to still bump his music? I mean, I feel like music is music. You feel me? And, and classic is classics. You can't take that away from whatever. People. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard. Who they are, what they didn't did. You're right. It's kind of hard to take away from uh, a feeling that music gives you. You know, it's hard to take away from that. It's hard to it's hard to disconnect from those increments in your timeline in your life where music made you, you know, a song could come on right now, that bitch will take you back to the third grade. You're like, oh, shit. Hey. I remember when I had that babysitter, that fine, that babysitter, you know what I'm saying? You, it, it, it'll, it'll bring it yeah. back. It's hard to just say, oh, I'm, a, I'm not going to play his music because he got convicted of this. Like, damn, well, that means it's a lot of movies we shouldn't watch. It's a lot of networks we shouldn't be watching. It's a hey. lot of products we shouldn't be consuming. You know what I'm trying to say? So, did you see uh, on on the Breakfast Club, Kurt Franklin was like, "You can't, you can't, you can't distinguish. Like, you can't have one without the other. You got to keep them the same way. So, if dude did that, then you're not supposed to bump his music, basically." That's what Kurt Franklin said on the, on the Breakfast Club. What he said? Hey man, that was Kurt Franklin. He basically said, "Kurt Franklin like, ain't God. He, he might he might talk to God, but we all talk to God too, some kind of way." So just because you ordained Boy, or whatever, bro. you can't just say that. Yeah, that's true. Now, in the R. Kelly situation, they say uh, the parents should be charged too. You feel the same way? In some instances, because if you got an underage child and you know where your child going, you leaving your child in the hands of a grown man like that, a stranger, complete stranger, just because of who they are, I think that's negligence on the parent. Cause right now, if, if if my kid get caught outside doing some shit, if my kid go shoot up a school right now, I'm gonna get charged for that shit, right? Right. My kid, right? You is? Wait, you yeah, they'll charge your ass for negligence. Yes. You, 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 okay. So you know they locked up the boy in Uvalde, Texas, right? Mm -hmm. it's the latest massacre. They locked up his parents because they felt like that's how he got access to not that one, the other one, the one before that. They felt like. The, you the, wife, watching the, the, parents, the parents let him get a gun. His mama bought him a gun. You see what I'm saying? They said, man, oh, I, I wasn't thought, watching that little boy, man. I thought, uh, I thought on his 18th birthday, he went and bought a stick or something like that. Nah, that's the Uvalde's Texas mass murder. Okay. I'm talking about the one right before that. And they arrested his parents. His mom and his dad. And they made, because she made a joke about that shit. Remember? What is they it? take they 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 retrieve the text messages yeah, from, the, from the parents, and when they saw the text messages, they saw she kind of made a joke about the shit, and that she was the one responsible because she the one who bought him the gun or some shit, her, him and the dad, her and the dad. But yes, what the I joke knew, was? She said something like, "It was something along the lines of." 
element of surprise, always best, or some shit, or you, it was something. I, I can't recall it, because I report on this shit every day. That's why I be so privy to knowing what it is, because I report the news, you know what I'm saying, with a, through my morning show. Fact. But yeah. I mean, I, I ain't gonna... That's so cheesy to, to make a joke about. Like, that's... Come on, man. Now, I feel like she did it before he... I think she made a joke about some shit before he did it because he said he kind of mentioned to his mom that he felt... That's how he felt. He wanted to hurt somebody. He was going to do something. So, when you when you already feel your child is on the verge of, of or contemplating doing something like that and you privy to that, where you, you know they're saying they're dealing with some shit... It's up to you to seek seek help for that child. Now, if they had seek help for the child, then that would be a, a, a layer of protection for them. You see what I'm saying? In, in regards to them being negligent, because at that point, they were actively seeking help for this child. You get what I'm saying? But if you are aware that your child has a problem and you got them encouraging or condoning their behavior, then shit, you just as guilty of them because you're not trying to do something to prevent them through parenting. You see what I'm saying? That's my thing. If he's telling you, oh, I'm on the verge of hurting somebody, like, you should get him help immediately. Like, to make a joke about it, immediately. that's just, that's completely, like, I get why they charge that in that, in that case, you know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's ridiculous. And then in some cases, what if the parent don't know? My child makes straight A's, or my child a decent student, my child not violent, my child don't have, I never knew he had a gun, I never, I ain't let him have access to a gun, because it's a lot of things kids would do that ain't got nothing to do with you, man. They just get lost and caught up or drugs or be emotionally goddamn distraught and just do some wild ass shit. Real talk. You should be looking at it as a parent, like, man, what can I do to help my child? Fact. I mean, mental, oh, mental, yeah. mental health is real. I mean, that's the bigger conversation of it all. What's the mental health of people? Like, come on, man. Like, let's be for real. Let's sit back sometimes and just ask yourself, like, damn. Like, you know how we always talk about women are so emotional? I think, man, a lot of times when you don't have proper guidance as a child, especially as a male, we act out differently. And we will take on some of that emotional that that, that emotional um, makeup of, our, of the mother, if you get what I'm saying. And then what yeah. happens is you may not appear to act, be emotional or act out as much as a woman, but when you do, it comes with severe consequences and damage. And the finality sometimes, just think about the murder rate. You got why so many men murder so many men. It's emotional. A lot of times you get so emotional, you take somebody's life. You kind of get what I'm saying? It ain't yeah. kind of self-defense. It's just a dumbass reason. And that lets me know that as far as us being human, we're all emotional. You know what I'm trying to say? Men and women. And I think it gets to a point where men don't know how to properly communicate. We don't know how to communicate. We don't know how to control our emotions sometimes. And, and we're not got, comfortable communicating either. Yeah, if that's what yeah. it is. It's the comfortability of it all. If you raised as a, as a, as a, as a young male and somebody would tell you, don't cry, you know, stop crying. Crying is for little girls. You try to talk to your mama about something your brother doing because you feel like it could mess up some of it could it could cause a problem. He could set the house on fire, he could kill her, he could kill himself. He can go to school. If you go tell your parents what they what they gonna call you a snitch, right? Your brother gonna be like, You a snitch. Right. You got real peer pressure. You got all this social anxiety from from inside the home. Then you got social anxiety outside the home, whether it's the workplace, whether it's school whether it's just your social encounters, it's a lot of anxiety out here and people don't know how to express themselves. Just like men, sometimes it's hard for a man to truly express himself to anybody because you don't know who's going to play with you. And it, 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 it appears that you are um, vulnerable. We don't understand the, impo the importance of vulnerability. Vulnerability is human. It's a human uh, emotion, you know what I'm saying? To be vulnerable, that's okay. The moment you tell somebody you love them, that's a, that's a, a, a state of vulnerability because you're letting them know that you would do so much for them. You're willing to take on things that you wouldn't take on with someone else for the love of them. You know what I'm saying? And we're scared to show our vulnerability because we are for certain 
someone is going to hurt us. Someone is going to take advantage of us. Someone is going to have us out here looking stupid. You see what I'm saying? And 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 that's that's a lot of times uh, the, the 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 problem. We don't know how to properly communicate, man. And 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 because of that, you resort to your your emotions and your actions. And if if it comes out violent, now somebody's lost their life senselessly. You know what I mean? So right. I think that upbringing is real big. And so so sometimes with with kids, it just depends on the situation. Go back to your question to say should the parents be charged i think after a evaluation is done if you as a parent are privy to the emotional duress your child is under if you are privy to the social anxiety or the social awkwardness that your child has you you have a duty as a parent to seek seek help like i said and if you're right. not doing that then you're part of the problem facts facts real talk uh, big facts I appreciate you, Doc. I appreciate you, Trey. Everybody who tapped in, you did. Uh, it's time for me to move around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just want to say I did just drop a podcast yesterday, so make sure y'all click the link in the bio. You know what I'm saying? The Joe's Podcast on all platforms. Uh, appreciate you, Doc. Once again, you did. Y'all have a good day. Happy Monday. Be safe. Make somebody day. Make somebody smile, you dig? Hit me up, Peace Doc. Out. Appreciate you for having me on. All right, Trey. Oh. I'll see you in a minute, bro. All right.